Check this out. Interesting. This is a Lassiter Gringle Mollusk. Looks like a snail. <laughs> it is a snail, Scooby. A rare sea snail whose picky mollusk diet restricts it to a deep coastal marine trench located right off Crystal Cove. These robots must have an underwater origin in that trench. You're back to the deep where you came from, you starving tinfish. Your rusty scallywags are worse than sea rats. Sorry about it, kids. Free brine and cuttlefish on the house. Gang, we need to get to that trench. And I know someone who can get us there. Previously on Mystery Incorporated. Are you aware that Grandma Moonbeam's nature slivers are manufactured by Destroido? And every bite you take supports the biggest polluter in Crystal Cove? What's the problem here? Avocados? That's Avocados. His father, Theodore Avocados, was mayor once. The one who was arrested for diamond theft, even though the diamond was never found. He really was the thief. The confession is right here in black and white. Ah, oh, Cassidy. She will need to be silenced forever. I'm sure she got out. She saved us. Not so excellent, however, is the fact that it didn't work. That idiot trap fiend found a way to blow up my bomb, and the gang walks free. I would have destroyed my own company to get those planospheric disc pieces. These children are proving hard to handle. We must find another way. Perhaps somebody close who can betray the kinder without them ever seeing it coming. Of course. Brad and Judy. Question is, will they be willing to betray their only son? All the pieces of the planospheric disc are ours. I believe it's time to put all of it together. I don't understand. Where are our pieces? this, you're probably wondering what's happened to your pieces of the planospheric disc. In a word, you've been scammed, conned, bamboozled. That's three words, Fred, but I think they get the idea. We did this to you. Yeah. And we will be more than happy to tell you how we did it. It was all an elaborate plan masterminded by your very own Freddy. We created Krampus by borrowing Charlie the haunted robot and dressing him up in clothes we bought off German gypsies who live in Crystal Gold's haunted forest. As for Krampus moving around, he was being remote controlled by Jason Wyatt, who agreed to help for lenience from the mayor on his mother's sentence. Like Jason also helped create an invisible aerosol that was used to turn hair white and make it grow long for added effect. We needed to keep you away from the vault. You following us, following Krampus, was the perfect way to keep you distracted so we could carry out our master plan, breaking into Mr. E's vault. Freddy planted a bug on Brad Child's clothing so that we could get the code to the vault. And once we had that code, we could give it to our operative. Someone with intimate knowledge of Mr. E's lair. Hot dog water. Hot dog water? I still know how to get in touch with her. Like when Velma told hot dog water what we had planned, HDW was in. And while we stole the real pieces, you were stealing fake ones. The real pieces were instead safely hidden with the one person no one would ever suspect. Fred's fake father, the ex-Mayor Jones. Why not really my dad dad? may have betrayed us once to get the disc pieces, but when he heard what we were planning, he was more than glad to help us take you down. And like Marianne Gleardon also agreed to help us after the current mayor offered her lenience on her sentence. She really wants to go back to the seventh grade. I guess I secretly hoped you guys might not try to steal the pieces from us, but I guess I always knew you would. Which leaves me with only one thing left to say. Real mom, real dad. He's a it looks like the whole planospheric disc like oh, whoa. 
It's beautiful. We have the whole thing. That leaves only one question. What do we do now? Oh.